Hi everyone. How's everybody today? Happy Saturday. Um, so I was going to do a live video, but then I decided not to in case I had to fix something or something like that. I didn't want to like, cause I know I've watched live videos all the time and they like take forever. They make mistake. You kind of have to wait for them to come back and blah, blah, blah. So I just wanted to do it this way. Um, so, um, I'm going to do a coffee mug. And I put Tesla on here, my favorite band of all. Um, and I'm going to do um, a couple different things to this cup. I'm going to use a sky blue and great purple for my colors. And I'm also going to use a marbleizing white um, Krylon spray paint. Um, and it basically makes it look marbly so yeah it's gonna be awesome okay so the first thing we have to do is um we need to tape off the inside of the cup in case anybody wonders these are um like a, a fuzzy fuzzy kind of letters so you have to put mod podge over the letters spray it with mod podge or um i just took a little brush and took my mod podge and went over the black if you don't all the little fuzzies are going to get caught in the epoxy resin and you don't want that. Okay. So make sure you do that if you decide to do this. Okay. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is tape it off with some painter's tape. Ugh, how's everybody doing? I haven't done a video in a long time, you guys. So <laughs> yeah, let's put it down a little bit. And we're just going to put it down in here so if any of the epoxy resin runs down um inside the cup you just pull the tape right up and it comes off with it i'm gonna do this real quick bam bam thank you ma'am anybody go to the saint patrick's day parade i didn't the weather sucked oh my god it was so bad <laughs> i felt so bad for all the um Everybody, they had a march in it, in the weather. Ugh. Yuck. I wanted to go out super bad last night. Nobody wanted to go out. I, I take the bus. But, I mean, going through, through Coleman's and stuff like that. Um, I live in South Lake, Syracuse area. Um, there was a whole bunch of people out there. I just wanted to get off the bus and go have some green beer. But I didn't want to do it by myself. <laughs> so... Okay, so there's that. Super easy, quick. Okay, um, the next thing we're going to do is just spray this off with some 91% alcohol. I mean, it doesn't hurt to use. I've used 75% alcohol, but 91 does work a lot better. It gets a lot of the crud off, whatever sticky, any fingerprints and all that stuff. So just kind of spray it. Wipe it on down. I am going to do it before I start putting my epoxy resin on as well. Mm. Yeah, I really, I wanted to go live, you guys, but if I get too distracted, then I kind of lose where I'm at. Um, but I will, I will go live with you guys at some point. Um, what's that? Uh, I think it's just the making of the cup. I will go live at some point if I'm doing something simple um and i know i won't get too distracted but because this is um a lot of money is being put into this cup <laughs> i don't want to do any mess, mess ups with it um especially if you guys come on everybody put turn on your notifications for me please when i post a video so you guys don't miss anything um and the end of this video you guys i probably won't be able to post this video until later tonight it is three o'clock now and um i was waiting for something to come from amazon so i didn't i wanted i wanted to use that so that's why i had to um wait so late i was gonna do it like 11 o'clock this morning okay so but anywho okay so that's all done we're going to get this started insert our little spongy onesie make sure it's all the way down in here all right, I 
going to place this on my cup turner. I love this one. I could do four cups all at once. I haven't done it. I've done three cups at one time. Um, I had a three cup turner. Um, and these things, they came loose. The screws weren't hooking in. It was like a cheap one. It's when I first started doing these mugs a couple years ago. And I was like, what is happening? <laughs> so, I mean, this one is very sturdy. I like it. It works good. It's very level. You make sure whatever you're doing, if you do anything epoxy resin, you guys, make sure your whole, whatever you're doing, tabletop counter, whatever is level. My kitchen, on the other hand, I, like as you can see, my, I'm just in a little small little area um, of my apartment. So my kitchen goes <laughs> like that. So I have to go down, put some wood underneath my table, blah, 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 prop it up to make it even and level. Um, it helps if you have a little leveler. Um, make sure everything's level, especially with epoxy resin. That stuff is brutal. Like if it, if it's not level, it's one part's going to be thick like this. And then the other part's going to be really thin like this. It's crazy. I, I can't even tell you how much epoxy resin I went through because things weren't not level. Okay. So here we go. So, um, now we're going to do, 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 do going to go right in and mix up some epoxy resin with you guys. Grab some gloves. After I mix it, um, I'm going to pause for a quick second, put my hair up. Um, a few times I have not learned my lesson and went bend down like this while I'm <laughs> designing my epoxy resin. My hair goes into it. Chop, chop. Yeah, there ain't nothing getting that out. Nothing, you guys. So, if you ever decide to work with it, it's extremely, it can be extremely messy and very dangerous. <laughs> if you ever get epoxy resin that's already mixed together on your skin, take some plain Dawn dish liquid soap, any dish liquid soap, it doesn't have to be Dawn. Um, don't put no water in your hands. Take regular dish washing liquid soap. Push it, smear it around in your hands, wherever that epoxy resin is. Give it a little scrub for a couple minutes and rinse it off under warm water and you should be all good. If it's just a little bit, you can take your 91% alcohol and spray it on and scrub it with a little sponge. Um, it should come off. Just, just be careful. But my hair is going up once I start this. <laughs> for sure. So I finally learned my lesson. I'm like, why did I do it again? I mean, it was like three times. Three times I've had to cut it. Yes. And I'm like, oh my God. Ah! <laughs> so, okay. So I like Nick Pro uh, resin. Um, I've used a few resins and I didn't really like a whole lot of them. More resins create more bubbles than others. Um, I was, oh, oh, I was looking through Amazon, you guys. And I was like, looking to see if there's any other epoxy resonance that I might want to buy. And this one says specifically, does not create bubbles. If any resin does not create bubbles, then I am Marilyn Monroe, okay? I don't think so. That's bullshit, period. Um, all resin creates bubbles. Um, if you want less bubbles, just make sure that you mix it correctly and you have the right amount of each. Um, this is one-to-one -one ratio. Um, um, I'm going to be using not much at all. I'm going to be using one ounce of part A and one ounce of part B. This is the resin. This is the B is the hardener. Okay. And so let's get to going. Sometimes you might want to, this is what I do sometimes. It's just, if there's any dust or whatever, I have a cat and man, her hair flies everywhere. So just make sure you, um, clean it out you know okay alrighty then we're going to do a first this is going to be my first time using marbleizing crayon spray as well i use this on like my um vinyl records um to decorate my vinyl records uh, but i have not used this on a cup yet i've used it on my vases as well and boy it looks pretty it looks just beautiful so I'm hoping this looks good with the colors that I have. All right, so let's go. So I got, got these from uh, Amazon. 
you get like 50 of them for, I don't know, like seven or eight bucks or something. No, like a hundred of them or something like that. So, okay. I find that these work just as good. I bought the silicone cups. I can't see a damn thing. I can't see where the measuring numbers are or anything on them. So I stopped using them. Um, that's how I first started. Um, when I first started using the proxy resin, I was using the little plastic silicone cups. And it was so hard for me to see where the lines were to measure. I'm like, I'm not using these no more. Plus, I'm getting older and I'm getting, you know, my eyesight ain't all that great anymore. <laughs> so... <sighs> Okay, so that's one ounce part A. I'm going to do one ounce part B. I'm going to try not to keep this video long, so I'm going to keep cut, pausing it, and I'll come back to you throughout the video so you're not sitting here forever. Okay. Part B is like a syrup. It's more like a syrup, and the resin is a little bit more thinner. Um... Sometimes in certain resins, you don't have to use as much hardener as you do resin. Sometimes you, you use less of part B. Sometimes. It depends. There's like so many resins out there. Um, I'm sticking with Nick Pro. This is like the best resin I've used. It's non-toxic. Um, I do like art resin. That's what I first started out with. But it still smells. This one very has not a very strong smell. A lot of resins have a strong smell, you guys. So that's something to think about as well. <laughs> okay. So when you're mixing up epoxy resin, stir slow. If you go really, really fast, you're going to create millions of bubbles. And them bubbles aren't going to cure on your cup. And it can create um, little pivots and stuff like that. Little... Um, just little pivots, little holes in there, and boy, they're a pain to get out. And I don't even bother with it. If it doesn't cure right, I have to throw it away and start over again. I went through a lot of cups for customers when something doesn't right, and there's like a little speck of dust, anything, that little part, that's not, this resin is going to make it like a little um, pivot in it. So got to be really careful. Just, so just stir slow for a few minutes. I like this resin. It only takes like two minutes. A lot of other resins is like three to five minutes. This only takes like two minutes. So I'm going to finish stirring this up, put my hair up, and get ready, change my clothes. You like my shirt? <laughs> I ordered this from Amazon. <clears throat> yeah. My favorite people call me Miss Lori. That's what all my kids at work call me, Miss Lori. <laughs> 30 years teaching. Yes. It's a, quite a journey with all the kids. I've taught over... 2,500 kids throughout all my years. And it's amazing. And I'm still doing it. <laughs> yeah. Probably well over. Yeah, maybe like 2,500? 20, maybe a little less than that. I don't know. Whatever. It's a lot. It's a lot of kids for 30 years for sure. All right. So I'm just going to finish stirring this. And I will be back with you guys in a few minutes. Oh, what's that? Oh. Okay, so just want to clean this off a little bit more. All right. So it's been about 10, 15 minutes. So this, once the epoxy resin is mixed, um, do not let it sit no more than... 30 40 minutes because then it starts to get thick and then it'll be too hard to work with you want to work with it depending on what your project is you want to work with it when it's still kind of thin and it's still moving a little bit okay which this one is okay let me grab my cups okay my preference i like to work out of dixie cups because they're flexible and i can just pour it on like this or use my little sticks or whatever. <laughs> okay. So we're just going to fill this up. I'm going to leave a little bit in the cup to put on my cup first. Pour it a little bit. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, my God. Ah, hold on. I got to get my apron on. Okay. <laughs> I 
I had to get my thingy on because I just got this t-shirt. I didn't even go nowhere and I ordered a St. Patrick's Day t-shirt. Okay, so yeah, let's get this going. Zoom a little bit. Just gonna do a little bit for each color. Sometimes it's always good to use a little bit of color here and there when you're doing it and then see where it's going after like 10, 15 minutes. And then you just want to use all this in a 40 minute time period. Um, Cause once it starts curing, I'm going to say probably about an hour, it's going to get sticky. Hour and a half, it's going to be sticky and then it's going to be too hard to work with. So yeah, keep that in mind. Okay. And, um, ugh. I was going to use mica powder. It's the best. This is the best shit. Yes, shit. Best stuff <laughs> I've ever used. This makes everything shine. It makes my, everything just beautiful. Beautiful with epoxy resin. Okay. I'm going to use our sky blue. Ugh. Oh, I wanted to show you guys something. That little small video I did with um, the cup that I wanted it to come out of the sunset. Here it is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I should have used the mica powder with the white, um, white pigment for epoxy resin. You would see all these colors. Perfect. You wouldn't even see the glare. You wouldn't even see through this at all. My hair is falling down. Ow! Ugh. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. It came out beautiful though. It looks a lot prettier in person, you guys. So if anybody wants one, I'm going to do another one. I ordered six of these. Um, and they're for coffee. They're coffee mugs. But you can use them for cold drinks and stuff like that. So um, I ordered six of them. So I'm going to do one with mica powder and uh, white pigment. Um, and with a couple other different colors. I'm just going to mess around with it and see what happens. Um, that's what I do. I mess around till I see something that I like and then put it up and see if all y'all like it. <laughs> all right, let's get going. I'm going to be talking too much. <laughs> I'm so happy all you guys like your, your orders. Thank you for your purchases, you guys. You guys are awesome. Okay. Get this mixed in. Sassy! No! My cat keeps scratching at my closet door. I got my big rug. I pulled one rug up because I ordered a new one. And she likes to go in there and climb up it and stay up there. And then she can't get down. I'm not getting her down because I'm not getting clawed. I got my ass clawed, yeah, a few weeks ago. She clawed the shit out of my hand. So, next time she ever gets up there, she's staying up there. That's going to be her new home. Period. <laughs> There's the pretty blue. Doesn't have to be a whole lot. Resin goes a long way. It's expensive, but it goes a long way depending on what you're doing. Now, if I were to do one of my, um, the butterflies that I put up, or, um, I gotta shake this up a little bit. The butterflies I put up, or, um, 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 what else? Like my wine glass holders, that takes a lot of resin. Yeah, a good four to eight ounces. And even then some. If I do my big trays, um, that's a lot too. So depending, depending. Cups are not that. These cups doesn't take a lot to cover the cup. Not really. I might put a little bit. I was going to do something else. It's called a raindrop um pour <laughs> for epoxy resin uh but you have to have alcohol inks alcohol inks are a pain they can be very beautiful but i feel like alcohol inks sometimes cause a lot of pivots in resin when it's curing and stuff like that so i don't know what's happening with my freaking hair jesus christ <laughs> oh my god Hey, it's better up. I don't care. I'd rather look ridiculous than get resin in my damn hair again. There's the purple. I don't want it too dark. Um, 
maybe a little bit darker. I do want my marbling white spray paint to shine through. I want that white to show up. So maybe I will go darker with both of them. So because if it's too light, then I'm not going to see it because my cup is white. You know what I mean? So I I got, there's a method to my madness. <laughs> there is. Okay. That's a little bit darker. Let's go a little bit darker with the blue as well. I'm super excited about this. Hmm? <sighs> Did I just go from one subject to another? <laughs> I do that a lot. I'll start talking about something and then get distracted and do something and I'll start talking about something else. Sorry. Any any questions or anything? Yes, please, um, down below in the comments, ask any questions. This is why I wanted to go live is because if you guys turn on your notifications for one for me, please, I appreciate it. Um, when I go live or when I post a video, you guys know or even the, my photos or whatever. It would be awesome if you turned on your notifications for me. A lot of people just turn them off because they don't like seeing like the same thing or they're just annoying videos or whatever. So I've had to do that before. Okay, these are all well mixed. Ooh, I'll show you guys pretty colors. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Ah, whatever. Okay, you'll see it when you go, when I put it on the cup. Okay. Um... Let me get a little, stir a little bit of alcohol, clean a little bit of my mess up, and I'll be right back. Okay. Um, a second. I just want to see where I am with this video. Okay. Hold on one second. Okay. <sighs> I just have to see where I was with the video because sometimes when I do it, I didn't know, like sometimes I'll have 30 minutes or 40 minutes, depending on how much is taken up on my laptop and stuff. So, all right, let's get going. Fix my glove here a little bit. Ugh. Okay. So just going to take it. Um. Just kind of put it all over your cup. Careful above the edges here. I should have put my other gloves on. These are a little bit too big on my fingers. And they're <laughs> just too big on the tips. Ugh, drives me insane. Okay, so I'm just going to continue doing this until everything is covered. I don't want none on the bottom. Until everything is covered, okay? And then let me continue doing this because it is quite a little bit. It takes a few minutes and I don't want to waste the video with just me doing this. <laughs> okay, so I will be back in a minute. Ooh, if I can get there. Hello. Okay, so now we got that all done. We're going to give it a little bit of squirts. Once it's set and I have everything covered, give a little couple of squirts, get all the bubbles out with some alcohol. Okay, let that settle for just a second. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to come in. Um, I am going to put some mica powder in these colors. Not a whole lot. Got to work kind of fast. <laughs> when you're doing a box resin, you have to work fast. Um, just going to kind of sprinkle a little bit in each one. I'll show you what it looks like. It's beautiful. I decided to do this. I'm not going to use the um, marble, marbleizing white spray paint. I'm going to use gold instead um, because this is a white cup. And I'm not sure how well that's going to turn out. So, 
Just want a little bit of shine to the colors. All right, that's bothering me. I see a little bit on the bottom where I'm going to have to put a little bit of resin on there. But it's not quite. Again, there. Dang it. There's just a little bit of shine to it. See the shine, the glitter? This one. I think it's actually going to look really pretty with the gold. <sighs> Every time you do something different when you're doing a cup or whatever project, change your gloves because that can affect a lot. Um, whatever's old on here can go into the resin or whatever and um, mess everything up. So be careful. Okay. Ugh. All right, so do, 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 which I'm going to do right now because I need to put my resin. Definitely need to put a little bit more resin on. Oh my God. Like I'm sweating bullets right now and it's so hard to get these damn gloves on. It's ridiculous. Your, wherever um, you're doing your epoxy resin, it has to be 75 or above um, in your house. Um, otherwise your resin may not cure depending on what you're doing. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit more down here. There's just a little bit, pivot a little near. Okay. And it's starting to get really thick now. So now is the time to move your butt. Okay. All right. Time for the magic to happen. <laughs> All right. There we go. Kind of drizzle, 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 whizzle. Hmm. <laughs> I am going to take the heat gun to this as well. I need a smaller heat gun, um, but see what happens. Hey, okay, that blue is gorgeous. All right. I'm going to get my heat gun. Ugh. And I'm going to just take my heat gun and just spread it out a little bit. A little bit on low. This just gets the resin moving. as well. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of purple. Get that purple going in here. See how it changed um, and it just kind of like spread out with the heat gun. That's what I want. I think this is going to look quite beautiful, people. All right, I'm going to pause it right here. It's almost going on 30 minutes, so I'm hoping this, if it keeps going past 30 minutes, then I know I'm okay for another good 10, 15 minutes. It's kind of weird. <laughs> Let's see. 
Okay, cool. It's going past. All right, let's, let's continue on. Up here. Okay. So. All right. Let's take the heat gun to it again. Oh. Lift it up. And go. Don't want too much. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Guys, yes. Ah, I love it, love it, love it. Okay. That's what I want. Um, oh, that's pretty. Okay. So I'm just going to go up here. And I like this blue trim up here. I think that's looking pretty now the epoxy resin is still moving so you have you still have a little bit of time to work with it okay all right so now we're going to come in and do, 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 do. let's move this back a little bit oh my because over here is not quite level. <laughs> you guys can still see? Okay. So now I'm going to take um, gold marble effect. Spray paint. Is this Cryolan too? Which one is this? Mm, Montana spray paint. It's called Montana marble effect. Gold. Oh, guys, stand up for a minute. <laughs> oh. What do you guys think so far? Pretty, huh? Yeah. Oh, <gasps> ah! I just did not do that. Do it this one. <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of cardboard. I'm going to have to block it for a minute because this stuff is messy. It goes everywhere i did something on my stove it went this stuff goes flying it's like spider web stuff it goes flying everywhere like the silly string that's what it's like oh it's getting on the bottom oh i'm glad i caught that oh I should have put it on the bottom. I wasn't sure if I wanted to tilt the cup um, and do my heat gun. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but that's why. So next time I will know to put some painter's tape on the bottom as well. <laughs> okay, that's good. Um, can always scrape it after. All right, just want to do spray it a little bit, get them bubbles out. You can use a torch. I'm choosing. I don't. I haven't used my torch in a while. Um, with epoxy resin, I feel like the alcohol ink, the alcohol gets um, the epoxy resin bubbles out the most. Okay. Ugh. Ugh. All right. So I'm just gonna take my box and I'm just. So let's see if I can do this without making a mess and getting on my laptop. Okay. Kind of have to be far, far away because you don't want it in all in one spot. Don't get it on my laptop, please. <laughs> okay, there you go. Oh, it's a big old glob there. But I mean, <laughs> 
I got to work with it. Got to work with it. Quick. The stuff is quick. Just kind of got to pull it off. And so the spray sticks down in the, um, stays down in the uh, epoxy resin. Ah, uh, there's a little bit of glob there. Not too bad, though. All right, so I guess, I mean, that's about it right now, guys. <laughs> that's about it. I'm not going to put any more gold in it because the more I put in there, the more globular it's going to get. And, yeah. Mm. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to pause it here. I'm going to come back. See, the stuff flies everywhere. I'm going to come back. Oh, it's 4 o'clock. Uh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Probably around 9, 9.30. This would be okay to touch where I can actually take it off and show you guys. If I can't, then it won't be till tomorrow morning I can show you guys. <laughs> but it's, it's Saturday night. I'm going to be up. So I'm super excited about this. So let's raise that a little bit. I mean, I like it. It's okay. It's different. It's unique. It's all good. It's mine. <laughs> if any of you guys want something like this done, hit me up in Messenger and I'll take your order there. Trust me, you guys. I'm legit. I'm legit. I don't play nobody. My page is real. I do make stuff. And if any of you guys want to post on my, um, let's, let's chit chat for a second. If any of you guys want to post on my page and comment and say thank you for my order, tag me, put my name in there, just make sure it's my actual, like Lori's art, L-O-R-I-S-A-R-T, and then um, like a small A, like lowercase A-R-T. <laughs> the only thing that's capitalized is the capital L. Everything else is lowercase. Um, and then it'll tag me and then it'll go on my page and then everybody can see, okay? Um, yeah. Um, and then, so, I wanted to go over a couple things with you guys. Well, I might as well do it with you now, seeing I'm getting to video. The videos is keep going, uh, is going longer than what I expected it to. I wanted to show you guys a couple things real quick, okay? Okay, so as you all know, I can't put it on the table, it's a mess. Um, these trays that I make, um, this one turned out absolutely gorgeous. And I know you guys seen pictures, but I just wanted to show you guys in the video how pretty that is, the bottom. You can use this for whatever. It is apparently, you know, a rolling tray. You can roll your cigarettes or your weed, whatever. This is supposed to be a stash jar, but you can use it for whatever. I think it's beautiful. I'm going to make more of these. Um, so if anybody wants one, <gasps> oh, um, if anybody wants one of these, I'm giving a deal, 35 for this and the stash jar, okay? Your colors, you can pick whatever colors you want. Um, and let me know on Messenger if you want one. Um, let me know if you order. Um an item um then make sure you let me know two weeks in advance because sometimes i have to order stuff i might be out of something um and things like that so um make sure two weeks in advance please okay thank you please and thank you all right this is another wine glass holder that i make this is for two wine glasses um i did this for cancer awareness breast cancer awareness um i think it turned out super cute um, the actual breast cancer ribbons that I wanted, the other, the real ribbons, I couldn't find any in this size. So, I mean, I think that's super cute, right? I love it. So this one's still up. Um, this one I did last weekend. Look how gorgeous that is, you guys. Ah, yeah, that's pretty. I used, um, what I use? It was a... Oh, crap. 
I forgot. I think it was a sky blue and like a just a regular dark blue in white. And it turned out amazing. Okay, and that's all I'm going to share for now. But if you're all interested, please hit me up. Yay! Uh, Messenger, let me know. Um, I have a ton of, ton of items for sale. You just have to let me know what you want, and I'll let you know the prices and how much your shipping and handling is, depending on where you live and depending on the weight and all that stuff. So I kind of know a lot about the weight now and how much everything is that I'm selling um, that I've already sent out a lot of stuff. So I can probably just tell you straight up uh, while we're chatting in Messenger how much your shipping and handling is going to be and all that stuff. So I have so many items, you guys. It's like um, I ran out of space. Like um, I think what I'm going to do is just do a really pretty items list and fold it up and put it in with your um, your purchase, your package, and send it off that way with my card. And stuff like that so I have a ton of cards you guys so I'm sending them out as well with my website and everything so all right I will see you guys later tonight love you guys peace hi guys so I just wanted to show it's been about an hour um I just wanted to show you I took the heat gun to it and blew um, um blew out the gold where it was real globby so it's not really all that globby right there anymore. So it's looking pretty nice. All right. I will see you guys later. I'm actually going to go now, make my whole list of items and prices. Um, quickly read them off to you. Not now. Not now. At the end of the video when this is all done and all that stuff. Um, take a picture of it and then I will try to edit it and put it up on my page so you guys can see that way I do have a list in my Facebook photos but I mean I've done two or three or four new items since then so <laughs> I have to make a new one all right I'll see you guys in a little bit peace all right hi everyone it is going it's almost seven o'clock in the evening um it's not quite you can't really touch it but I can like take it off of the um off my cup turner and show you um what it actually looks like now um uh, I did a little bit more work to it um I took the heat gun and um blew out a little bit more of the gold like I said earlier blew out a little bit more of the gold um would I use gold again with these specific colors no I think I would use the gold marbling um, on a black or a very dark color. Um, but I like it. I mean, it's mine. <laughs> I like it. Um, all right. So let's take this baby off and show you up close. Oh, oh. There we go. I like it. I love the colors. I love the colors. Yeah. It's getting dark. This daylight savings time is ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah. And I will um, take pictures of it um, tomorrow morning. And go there, but... Yeah, super pretty. I like it. It's good. It works. So I'm going to just let it cure the rest of the night um, and post this video for y'all. All right. Talk to you soon. Have an awesome night. Peace.